In today's video, what we're going to do is add additional custom fields to the checkout. So here's our checkout here. We're going to add an additional field as part of the billing details. So here's our scenario. We like our customers to include their customer reference number at checkout. So it makes us easier to manage their accounts in the back end of our fictional business. So we're going to add a new field. It'll appear down here underneath the billing details and allow our customers to add in additional information. You, it could be whatever you want. You could capture a website URL. You could capture custom information about the delivery in the shipping information. Whatever additional fields you need on checkout, you can use this technique to capture them. So let's head over to the back end of our WooCommerce store. So what we need to do, first of all, is install a plugin. It is called Checkout Field Editors for WooCommerce. There's a, a free version and a pro version. The pro version gives you some additional features, like it would allow you to save our fictional customer reference number against the user meta. But we're just looking at the free version. You can decide whether you need those additional features. So we have this additional menu option under WooCommerce called Checkout Form. It allows us to do a lot more than just add new fields. So for example, we could change the order of the checkout. So perhaps we want a billing email at the top. We could disable fields if we wanted to. So perhaps we don't need to capture a person's postcode or phone number rather. We can just disable that field entirely. Now, if we look at checkout, let me just save that first. So there's phone and email at the bottom. If we refresh, phone email's at the top and the phone number is completely gone. But that's not what we're here to do. We are here to add a new field. So let's click on add field. We can set type, there's various types, text areas, numbers, the usual suspects. Let's call it billing underscore customer reference and give it a label that will appear on the checkout. And we can set up your required, enabled, displaying the emails that WooCommerce sends out and displaying the order detail page. That's the thank you page. So let's save that. Save our changes. Now, if we refresh the checkout, there we have our new customer reference number. If you need help extending your checkout, adding new fields, removing fields, reordering them, why not check out our WooCommerce Webmaster plans? We've got a 15 day free trial. Head on over to the homepage of wooace.com and sign up for your free trial.